Okay, I've just completed doing the tack wire in this Toyota. Now, to grab your tack wire, you could always go to the in one of these injectors, which is, in my opinion, a little easier. On all of these injectors, like this is a six-cylinder, so you see there's an injector there, there, and it'll be hard to show you. But, now there it is. There's three of those guys right there. In there, in this particular car, there's four wires. You get this heavy one here, another one, and you got the third and the fourth wire. It doesn't really make much sense on cars of the order, but some of these injectors have two wires, some have three, and some have four. Even though I can't really show you the other injector wire, you just going to have to take my word for it. There's a black, there's a white, there's this one here, which is orange-yellow, which is the one I grabbed. Then there's that white-black. On all of these injectors, there's going to be three wires, which are going to be common. The one that's the odd man out on each one of these injectors, that's the one that's going to give you your attack signal. So any one of those is a vice. You go to any injector, it doesn't really matter, but since this engine's so tight, that's the one I chose to use. So once you make your connection, get it in, tie it on, grab yourself some loom, this wire loom, just like the factory uses, do it nice and neat. Put a wire tie on it, make it nice and tight, get your loom. I'm going to run that across that engine compartment and show you what I did on the other side. And here's where I mounted my siren. Again, I screwed it down with two self-tappers. Where the sound comes out, where the speaker is, you want to always make sure that that's pointed down. You don't want that to accumulate any kind of water. Now, you see where I got the wire for the siren? It's coming together with this wire that I ran across the engine compartment to that tack. I'm going to connect those two here. Those looms, I buttoned them up about a foot or so after the fact and I left myself some extra. That extra I got connected to that screwdriver, so all you got to do is go on the other side of that, inside the passenger compartment, and pull that screwdriver through that's taped onto the wires. Pull them through, so you're going to have a rubber grommet, and you're going to have this wire loom, so the wires will never be rubbing up against metal to metal. You're just going to sew them up by putting wire ties with the factory looms, and that's basically all you got to do under the hood in this car.